Professor Victor Anamangu, Sunrise, February 1926, Transition to Glory, June 14, 2011. From childhood, I've always been impressed by nature, by things that happen around me. I remember that from the vantage point of the hills in Bamenda, where I grew up, I could see the stars very clearly and was very impressed by this. And as I grew up, I've always wondered about their beauty and why they do shine. Professor Vic Namangu, in his own words. Professor Ngu was born February 19, 1926 in Boyer, the first of six children to Ma Monica Ngum and Pa Nazarius Anoma. He began primary education in government school Bamenda, then continued to St. Joseph's College Sasa Boyer as the first group of students of this August institution. He then continued from 1941 to 43 for secondary education and moved to Nigeria, precisely in Ibadan, from 1944 to 46 to finish up his secondary school. He later moved to the Higher College of Yabra in Lagos from 48 to 50. Then in the ensuing years from 51 to 54, he traveled to England on scholarship and attended the St. Mary's Hospital Medical School at the University of London, the only black student in his class, and graduated as a surgeon. During his graduation ceremony, Queen Elizabeth of England awarded the young Dr. Ngu the Max Bunn Prize and Medal in Pathology with a handshake. Of note, this is the same award she had given Sir Alexander Fleming for his discovery of penicillin. While a student in England, he met the love of his life, Clara Aitzel, and walked her down the aisle in 1960. The latter had four children, Aza, Anoma, Achiri, and Ola, and lived happily together until her passing in 1999. Fresh out of specialization, imbued with enthusiasm, laden with skills and brains, Dr. Ngu moved back to Nigeria to begin a professional journey that will span five decades across three continents. He joined the University College Hospital, Ibadan, as a senior registrar in 1960, became a lecturer in 1962 and a full-fledged professor of surgery from 65 to 71. Early in his career in April 1960, Dr. Ngu traveled along the west coast of Africa in his Volkswagen Beetle with registration number WAG991 with his fiancée, Miss Clara Itzo, and canvassed for the formation of the West African College of Surgeons. This body fostered social interaction among surgeons in the sub-region and achieved full college status in 1973 with Dr. Ngu as his founding secretary and later its sit president. In his early years as a consultant surgeon, he won the Rockefeller Foundation Research Fellowship in Cancer Chemotherapy at Children's Cancer Research Foundation and the Harvard Medical School from 62 to 63, and became an exchange professor of surgery at a place north of this area in John Hopkins, Baltimore, Maryland, in the years 64 to 65. In 1971, he was recalled to Cameroon, and appointed Professor and Chief of Surgery at the newly established University Center for Health Sciences in the University of Yaoundé 1, a position he occupied from 71 to 74. From then on, he had an enviable, uninterrupted and unblemished public career, helping shape tertiary education, healthcare and research in Cameroon and beyond. He was Vice Chancellor of the University of Yaoundé from 71 to 82, Director of General of Scientific and Technical Research of Cameroon, from 82 to 84, and Minister of Public Health from 84 to 88. He became Director of the Cancer Research Laboratory, CUSE, from 1984 to 1991, and Pro-Chancellor of the University of Boyer, 1993 to 2004. As a consummate researcher, forged in the crucible of many great scientists, Professor Ngu was a master thinker with a mind that constantly churned with the whys and why nots of many natural events, and he contributed substantially to the medical literature, Burkitt's lymphoma, and cancer immunotherapy. He sought evolutionary reasons and set forth brilliant hypotheses on diverse medical phenomena, including fever, thermodynamics, chronic infection, and the role of viruses in the causing of human cancer. The last two decades of his life were dedicated to HIV, an endeavor he said was only a natural extension of his works on cancer. The relatively underdeveloped third world African setting was not a deterrence to Prof. Ngu's fertile imagination. He believed in his works and passionately labored to find an immunotherapeutic approach to the scourge of HIV. Reviewing Prof. Ngu's prodigious contribution to the fight against HIV in Africa, the April 2012 edition of Africa and Science magazine likened Dr. Ngu's death to when a fighter leaves the battlefront. Prof. Ngu won many accolades for his landmark scientific works and unassailable service to humanity. He was president of the International Union Against Cancer, founding member and president of the Nigerian Cancer Society, 
President of the Association of African Universities, member of the Scientific and Technical Advisory Group and the Tropical Disease Research Group of the World Health Organization, member of the Advisory Council on Medical Research of WHO, member of the Consultative Group of the UNICEF Center Florence, president of the Bennett von Lund Society and many others. Prof. Gu fought in the Nigerian army as a colonel during the Nigerian Biafra War from 67 to 70. He won the Albert Lasko Medical Research Award in clinical cancer chemotherapy in 1972. For the fight against HIV and his works on Van Hevax, Prof. Sungu won the Ren Leon H. Sullivan Achievement of the OIC International in 2003. He was president of the Cameron Academy of Science from 2001 to 2006. He was decorated with many national honors in Cameron, including the Grand Commander, the L'Ordre National de la Valeur Camerounaise. In 2007, Prof. Sungu was awarded the Honorary Fellowship of the South African College of Surgeons, the first black person to be conferred with this honor. He wrote and co-authored at least 59 scientific publications. These are only a few of Dr. Ngu's numerous accolades. How shall Prof. Sanamangu be remembered? He was humble beyond humility. He cared deeply for his family and proved that you could achieve your dreams in the continent without swallowing your hands or your name. Prof. Sangu was also very deeply religious and spiritual. He meditated daily in search for light and guidance in his scientific pursuits. Luxury, title, and wealth meant little to him, and he cared less to be called Monsieur Le Ministre, but took great delight and smiled when a patient said, Merci, mon père. Victor Namango was a passionate person. One of his assistants at his clinic de l'Espoir in Yaoundé recalled the story of his childhood told by Prof. Sangu himself. He once carried a sick classmate of his on his back, walked barefoot from Sasa to the nearest hospital several miles away to Victoria Limbe, and according to him, Victor only realized his classmate had died when he got to the hospital. On the door of his clinic where he cared for HIV patients, Prof. Sangu hung a plaque that read, Be patient. God is not yet finished with me. In sum, Prof. Zongu was a seasoned physician who cured so many cancers and treated masses with HIV, a compassionate human being who touched lives through his work, a dedicated public servant and patriot who gave his all to his country to left the world a better place. He lives on in our minds and hearts, and today we pay him homage with this award, ever mindful that his greatest reward lies with the Almighty. <laughs>